one second. There's something right there. There's something right there. There it is. This is it. All right, so we've had an attack in broad daylight here on the homestead within the last hour. I just went and roamed the property and I found exactly what I think it is. We have a big problem. We've got a big problem. Okay, well, there's one of them. Which one is that? That's one of the toms. I don't know if that's the... Yep, that's the one we got from the neighbor. I could see, I could tell by how big his, his legs and feet are. So guys, we are in a situation now where there was an attack in broad daylight um, about an hour ago. Um, well, white feathers everywhere. We have three turkeys and a white chicken. And I'm not sure exactly which is what's what one's what yet. Let's walk up here and I'll show you guys. And um, we have a situation here as far as we have some new threats on the homestead I haven't talked about yet because it's only happened within the last two days. And I actually got footage of both of them. But check this out. I don't know if this is turkey feathers or my hen. They're small where it looks like the chicken. There's a big one. Look at this. Okay. I see a trail of them. There's literally a trail of feathers that go up that way. Well, all right, so let me show, let me show you what our problem is. Um, two days ago, I cleared the spot for the girls um, feeder out behind the house within an hour of doing that I've got two random pit bulls. I can't see any collars on them. So I don't know if they're just strays. They got dropped off I don't know. I got two random pit bulls 100 yards behind the house. Let me show you those pictures real quick Here's the deal with pit bulls. And this may make some of you guys mad because some of you may have pit bulls Let me tell you something. I had pit bulls my whole life growing up until I was about 16 years old um, We had them our whole life I've had them turn on me. I've had ones that I've raised from puppies all the way up until they were probably three, four, five years old, whatever, um, turn on me. I've had it done and, and they're notorious for that. And I know it's probably gonna make some of you guys mad and that's not the intentions of this video whatsoever. It's just the reality of the situation. Um, pit bulls can be the best dogs in the world. They can also turn on you quicker than any other dog that I know of in the world. And, um, and you guys might say, well, that's with any dog. You guys may be getting mad right now. That's that's not I'm not attacking pit bulls for say, but they are dangerous. And you cannot deny it that pits are dangerous. And that's come from someone who raised them growing up. Growing up raising these pit bulls, my brother's dad raised them, he bred them, he sold them, he did all that stuff. Like we literally have 15 pit bulls at one time. Like I guess you might say he was running a pit bull mill. He would he would raise them, he'd get good quality and um, with papers and all that and he would that was his little side business so i've been around pit bulls my whole life this isn't coming from someone who's never been around them or raised them or anything like that um so i know a little bit about them i know i know their history of them and um i've had them personally turn on me and um my mom and all that like it's it's not a good situation to be in and that's what's weird too they're known they could be the most loyal dogs for seven years and then just something clicks i don't i don't know just i don't know something clicks and they could turn on you so that with all that being said we have two pit bulls on the property and my neighbors they have never seen these dogs before i've asked the neighbors that i have phone numbers to um they've never seen them we've never seen them never got on camera before and um also that same evening that little bobcat slash house cat i don't know um showed back up and i was gonna shoot it um because it was coming the chickens were out they were out free ranging just like this, just like they are right now every day. We let them out in the morning, lock them up in the evening, and um, that's just what we do with our chickens. We let them free range. And we, me and the girls drove up, and I seen it. It was coming back from here. So I was like, man, it didn't have a chicken in its mouth. And I've caught that one before. I think that one's actually got a chicken before. Um, I've got it on camera. Uh, so I said, I, you can hear in the video, I'm gonna show you that and just saying, you hear in that, in that video. Uh, What's Is it? Is that a bobcat? That's not Millie. That's not Millie. That's not Millie. Oh, that's. That, that is no, it's like a. It looks like a bobcat. Are you serious? Oh. 
we knew i knew it wasn't our barn cat even you could hear hope say yeah that's not it's not well whenever i don't know if you hear this part in the video my my phone stopped recording because of the storage was full but i said hey i'm gonna shoot it well when i said i'm gonna shoot it hope started second guessing and how they started second guessing themselves well let's find our cats first before we take this one out just in case which i knew it wasn't and i should have just done it so we pulled up they found the other cats within like 40 seconds i turned around to go take care of it and it was gone and that was two days ago that was both two days ago and now we have a chicken or a turkey missing i see two turkeys now so let's see it where uh, let's look so there's the one our neighbor gave us and that's another tom right there and i don't see the white hen anywhere yet so that's the only four white animals we got others other than um gunner oh i thought the other turkeys over there but it wasn't that's the dog house so this is the tom that we raised and there's the white hen yep this is sad dang it so that tells me right there it's the um the white hen the one that truly the one kind of a rescue turkey um only had one eye that was good she could only see out of one eye and she was probably easy pickings i guess but it's right up here in the driveway let's let's go into the woods and see if we could find her or find any more evidence it's pretty sad we really like her and it always seems to be the ones that the girls and brandy and i get attached to that end up getting taken out you know getting attacked or whatever it's crazy okay you can just see the trail of them there's more over here they're everywhere i assume the wind might have blew them over here so we got like three inches of rain last night too so i can actually see in the wood everything's kind of like it's kind of dark and gloomy here so these white feathers stand out um but yeah this happened happened this morning once they started free ranging what is that those are mushrooms these feathers i think the main i don't know though i think the main attack was right there and came up let's just look around for a minute and you guys I always get comments saying you need to be carrying a gun or you need to be carrying a rifle. Guys, I'm always am just because I don't show it doesn't mean I don't have it on me. Trust me. Now, there's, an, there's an occasion when I do walk out of the house to feed the animals and I forget to grab my pistol or something. But for probably 97% of the other time, I'm always got something on me. I don't see any obvious... See, and that's the thing, if you guys aren't familiar with predators and, and which ones do what, if that would, and this, this turkey was big, and um, if it would have been another bird, I don't think it would have tried to attack, unless it was like an eagle or something, or an owl may try, but um, an owl would do it, but the owl would not take the carcass, so, or a cat, uh, that cat that we've seen on video that I showed you guys. First of all, what do you guys think that is? Like, Brandy thinks it's a, a, a big house cat, but... The front, the head of it looks straight up like a bobcat, has a bobtail, but it's not huge like a, like a normal bobcat. I'm like, man, it almost looks like a cross, for, no, a cross to me. I don't even know if that's possible. Um, but yeah, so um, when you have feathers like, like we have right there, um, just random feathers, like an attack, a struggle uh, occurred, and then you, there's no carcass, that usually means a coyote or a dog or a big cat, they will take their prey with them. Um, coyotes will actually go stash their prey um and um so will so will cats so will the bobcats the bobcat could have took it for sure um but we'll stash their prey and actually go back and get more we had that happen to us last year and uh so i don't know guys this is i'm not seeing anything in there let's walk out i'm gonna walk out to where the feeder's at and that's right where we got the two pit bulls two days ago they could very easily have been the pit bulls came back and got got her i don't know I just don't know. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Okay. I think I see a feather. Uh, yep. Oh. I think it's out here right now. Hold on a second.
It's right there on the trail. Look, there's, oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. You see that? The prints? What kind of print is that? Okay, that's all the evidence I need to know. Truly's gone. Whatever took her, either that's a small bobcat or a canine, small canine print. You guys, this is crazy. Leave me a comment down below. What is this? I'm gonna take some pictures of it real quick. That tells me 100% it was a bigger animal. It's a bigger animal that took her. I'm actually surprised that we found her on this trail. So wildlife will use trails that you make. Obviously it makes it easier on them. But I'm gonna walk slowly, talk quietly, just in case we sneak up on it. This is nuts. Okay, we're back out here where we seen the, um, the um, pit bulls on camera two days ago. Right here. I'm gonna see if I see any fresh tracks. So here's the deal. It's one thing to have stray dogs at the creek property. When we're out there hunting and stuff like that, we can handle it. But being at home with our animals, our livestock, our pets, our children, my wife, we cannot have two stray pit bulls on the property roaming around, doing what they want, killing what they want. Like I said, I have no idea if it was a pit bull or a cat. But it's that paw. That paw will tell us what it is. I need to go and do some research online and let you guys tell me too, because there are some experts out there that will know exactly what that is. Was it that cat? I don't know what that paw print is. I'm thankful that I just found it and with direct evidence of feathers right there, that's freaking weird. Um, but what's odds of that? There's something right there. There's something right there. There it is. What is that? You see it? Right there. Oh, it's a deer. Oh, gosh. Dang it. I thought I just walked up on it eating. Holy cow, my heart's pounding. It was a doe. Did y'all hear it blow at me? I don't know if you can see it with this GoPro. It's, that's one thing about filmed GoPros. It's hard to get close. All right, I'm gonna back out. That tells me that the predator is not over here because that deer would not be there. <sighs> okay, let's back out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over here where those feathers were at and, and back out and not push anything else that's over there. We don't want to mess this spot up even more than it already is. I'm just going to walk off the trail over here and look and see what we can find. I would assume whatever took it would like to come over here or wherever with some cover. Like, like maybe back behind a bush to eat it. Not just eat it out in the open. I'm seeing nothing. There's a good trail right here the deer are using. Coming right towards where the feeder's at. You know, I'm not seeing it. You know, I'm not seeing nothing else. I'm gonna keep walking, but you know what I'm gonna do? Because I think it's still an area. I think it's right here somewhere. It has to be. I think I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna take a shot over here into this brush pile. And maybe that noise alone will detour whatever is out here to not come back. 
Let's do that real quick. I got a brush pile right there that I'm going to take a shot into. There's no houses or nothing behind me, so let's do it. I would say that's plenty loud enough to scare off anything that's over here mine and the deer. That's the best thing I guess. That's about the best thing I can come up with right now to keep this thing away from us. I don't know, this is sad. <sighs> okay, I'm actually back here at the feathers on the trail. And the more I look at this, it kind of looks like it might have been running right here. Let me show you why I think that. So look at the, how, see how it's like, it slides? I don't know, like that just doesn't look. See what I'm talking about? How it, like, how it just kind of goes that way? And there's another feather right here. <sighs> and it looks like it may have went, got it up there on the, on the road and came through here. So let's walk this way. Because that's what looks like it's come from that way right there. It doesn't look like it came from the trail. It looks like it just crossed through here. And, and went that way where I just came from. So it very could have easily went through there and then went, jumped the fence and went that way. So, uh, that's not big. So, let me give you guys a reference of how big this paw print is. I'll put my phone down here so you guys can see the reference. Okay, there's my iPhone. You guys know how big a phone is. And there's the print right there. It's not big. It's not that big. Look up what a, um, a dog print looks like and difference between that and a bobcat. It kind of does look like a bobcat. This says, how does that look like to you guys compared to what I'm looking at right now? Let's look. How does that look? Okay, let's do a, um, and some of them, let's do a, let's do a, um, Cody. We'll compare them. Yeah, that's definitely not a Cody print. 100%. I don't think it is anyways. This looks like a, a cat print. Here, I'll show you. So there's a Cody print next to it. See how, how that print is rounded and that one's not. Okay, definitely not a bear or a fox. But then you come up here to a cat. To me, that looks like a bobcat. I think a bobcat got it, I really do. And could it have been the one that I got on camera um, driving up the driveway two days ago? Very well possibly could be. But I'm just not sure what kind of cat that is. But, and, and the thing about that one, I've had that on camera months and months ago when we had chickens and stuff coming up missing, if you guys remember. I think it, I think it very well could have been the one that I could have took a shot at for sure. Okay, and there's another feather. So, the attack happened right there on the driveway. And the cat, which I'm thinking it's a bobcat now, or that cat we got. It, and it came right through here and then right through there where I found the other ones. So it, sna it fought it, snatched it up, and took off. It's horrible. On something like that, and that's the thing too, Gabby is still recovering inside the house. And Gracie is out. She was out all night, all morning. Um, she's out to protect. But... She just isn't roaming. And our guard dog, Gunner, he's not out, he's not out protecting the homestead yet, anyways. And when we free range these animals, that's kind of I hate to say, but that's kind of the chance you take when you're free ranging is predator attacks. And that's when it always happens. And um, I know you guys always say you need to be, build a big giant coop and put an enclosure in there. The attacks go in spurts we may not get one for six seven eight months and then all of a sudden boom 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 and then that that ha doesn't happen again so it's one of them things like to me 
I want my animals to free range. I want them to have that life. It's just, it's one of them things. I, don't, I just don't have an answer really. You just, do I build a big coop and just keep them locked up their whole life? They absolutely love free ranging. I hate losing animals. I hate losing the ones that we really like. I hate to say that we really like some more better than others, but we do. There's, you guys got your favorite chickens and stuff like that. You don't want to lose any of them. But when it's one of your favorite ones, that's what makes it worse. And you can always tell where the attack occurs. It's where the group of feathers is at, 40 yards away from the coop. So it wasn't like the bobcat got inside the coop and, and killed, killed the um, turkey. The turkey's out here free ranging this morning. Well, hopefully it was the bobcat and not those pit bulls. I'm hoping those pit bulls are just traveling through. They got dropped off and they're just they're just traveling through. Um, that's what I'm hoping because I don't want to deal with pit bulls on the property. Pit bulls will kill every, if, once they kill a chicken, any dog, German Shepherds, if they kill one, especially if they're not yours, they're strays or whatever, they're going to kill everything that's on the property that they can. Chickens are such easy prey, so are turkeys. They're, they get picked off easy. We could have came home and every one of them just could have been demolished. What is that? There's something crazy over here. Is that a turkey? What in the world? Something just gobbled in the woods over there. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I definitely heard a turkey gobble and make some other noises. I think that's completely away from where the attack happened and where the other, where the feathers were at on the trail. Now I need to come over here and see if uh, these turkeys are still here, if they're wandering off in the woods. It may be best that we keep, after tonight when they get locked up, maybe we keep them locked up for a few days, two or three days, keep them in their chicken coops and not let him come out to see um just to, just to take precaution i see one of the turkeys there's one of them so they're both the turkeys are right there both turkeys are right here they're both right here and i don't see they're not they don't have blood on them or anything like they were in a struggle at all that i could tell they look relatively clean. They're getting big. I think we got some wild turkeys going on over there. All right, you guys, that's all I got for this video. Um, I think that's what we'll do after they roost tonight. We're gonna keep them. We're gonna keep them cooped up for a couple days. Just let things kind of die down a little bit. And that, that way, that bobcat. I think the bobcat doesn't come back, thinking it's gonna get easy prey again. But I've seen that cat over the last year several times I need to get rid of it and i've got traps as you guys know i've just had zero luck catching these things i don't know what to do